students who do have a computer compared to students who don't have a computer is a game changer. Technology is definitely a must. So, I mean, it's not an option anymore, it's a must. This is about turning around schools, fundamentally, changing test scores, changing outcomes, and this is about turning around the larger community. My name is Javier Pena. I'm a seventh grade world history teacher at San Fernando Institute for Applied Media. From Inca, Peru. My classroom today was studying the age of exploration. Instead of giving the students the major concept, um, I exposed them to a series of artifacts where they themselves explore and try to derive the concept from the artifacts. They were exploring these artifacts of a sunken ship. They were trying to identify today where the ship might have set sail from, where it was going, and what motivated the expedition. They could do some basic Google searches to confirm or test their hypotheses about what they were looking at, giving them that technology tool to help them explore what their mind is thinking up at the moment. Is it, is it, is it this one? The goal of School to Home is to close both the achievement gap and the digital divide. School to Home is the framework for turning around low-performing schools and low-income neighborhoods, and it is the platform for effectively integrating technology into teaching and learning and engagement of parents. parents who are living at the edges of poverty without much education themselves and, and without much in the way of assets. But they love their kids. You know, the poor love their children as much as the rich. And so to give them a, a glimpse of what they can facilitate in their own children's lives and for their own children's learning, I think is just absolutely the most important thing we could have a conversation about. I like to read a lot. So I downloaded this reading site where different teenagers, they write stories, and it's really interesting. If there's a word that I don't understand, I usually just go on Google and I look for it. And I've always wanted to learn how to speak Japanese, so sometimes I just go on Google Translate and like, learn how to speak, say different words in different languages. It's powerful and getting not just the students and the teachers but most importantly I think the parents so they can connect to their students work and progress in school they can monitor that they can be connected to the school officials they can be a voice parent voice for priorities in the budget like more computers or more bandwidth start thinking more about scholarships start thinking more about going to college I think it gives them an opportunity to do that all the studies show that the biggest component to student growth and student success is parent involvement. The fact that that's a huge part of school to home is amazing and then seeing the parents here with their child and learning together 
is it's almost like, why haven't we done this before? They can go into the website of the teachers and know what homework has been assigned, what projects are coming up, and what grades are being given. They're looking at the transcripts, they're looking at if they're absent, if they're tardy for class. And they can check, oh, did she do that? She said she didn't have homework that night. Let me check. She did have homework. She didn't turn it in, then they know. This year, we have no suspensions. Office referrals, um, they're down, depending on the month, between 50 and 90 percent from last year. The devices served as a great opportunity to overcome the language issues. Their concern was, well, I don't know how to speak English. I said, great, just type it up, go through Google Docs to do a translation. So that was something we incorporated into the workshops. Actualmente, todo es computadoras. Todo es este internet, todo es um, eh, a base de, de datos. Entonces, está su, tienen que estar súper eh, adotadas para, para hacer las cosas. Entonces, qué mejor que les enseñen. Entonces, porque yo sé que muchas escuelas no tienen ese sistema. Yo, varias amigas me dicen, oh, desde mi hijo no tiene eso. Todo bastante y le va a seguir ayudando y va a ser de provecho para su universidad también. And working with our not-for-profit organizations, our school to home, as a partner in our, our task force work and with our schools, we're learning a lot from how different agents of change are engaged in the work. And together, we're getting smarter about how to partner, who to partner with, and what that means for students. And it's important to develop uh, critical partnerships with the districts, with nonprofits, with community, because we have to all work together. Uh, we know that not only one organization is going to be able to accomplish this, but uh, you know the collective impact that we can have uh, is tremendous. Partnership is very valuable. I commend the work that they have done and want to expand it because I believe that that is the way we are going to bridge the, the opportunity gap, the achievement gap, the digital divide. Those are critical things that we need partners in order to do it. And this organization has done that for years with the district, and we appreciate that. We're about making sure that students are prepared for high school, and one of those ways that we're making sure they're prepared for high school is through digital literacy. The digital divide is really about inequality, as is the achievement gap. That is that all you have to do is look at your data and what you find is the kids who have the greatest disadvantages and the schools that are serving the kids who are poorest are the schools that are doing the least well. So the disparities we see in access to technology and the internet mirror the disparities we see in achievement outcomes, mirror disparities in health, disparities in wealth, disparities in life chances. It's all part of the same picture. And why that is important is because if you try to focus only on one part of the puzzle and re don't realize how they're connected, you're not going to make any headway. To just cross oceans and cross cultural barriers and cross language barriers and see my students get it, get it for the first time, I think.